Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Paul. I'm doing the narration. That guy up there, his name's Brendan. He's going to be doing the illustrations. And we got Mario chilling with us since we're doing pipes. All right, before we get started, uh, go ahead and make sure you've seen the Fork Syscall tutorial and the Dupe Syscall tutorial. All right, so let's do this. So let's start with the basics of piping. A pipe is basically a buffer or a block of data with two file descriptors, one for reading and one for writing. A pipe is a form of redirection that is used to send the output of one program to another program. The first program's output is sent to the right end of the pipe, and the second program takes input from the read end of the pipe. Now, the pipe system call takes in an array of at least size 2 and uses this array to return two file descriptors that refer to the two ends of the pipe. Let's first declare an int array of size 2. We'll call this array FDS. Now we call pipe, passing in our array FDS. So somewhere in memory, we have our standard file descriptors 0, 1, and 2. And somewhere along the line, we now have two file descriptors that refer to our pipe, held by FDS. FDS at 1 is the right end of our pipe, and FDS 0 is the read end of our pipe. So at this point, we now have a pipe that we can write to and read from, but of what value is this to us? Let's say we have a program where we need to have two processes that can communicate with one another. Hopefully, you've seen the fork video before this. If not, go watch it. I'll wait. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to wait for you. All right. In our program, we call fork. So now the child and the parent have their copies of the file descriptors for our pipe. So now in the child, let's say we need to execute a command and give that information to the parent. Since we have our pipe, in the child, we can execute that command and through the use of dupe, write it into the right end of the pipe instead of standard out. So now that we have written into the pipe, in the parent process, we can actually retrieve the information from the child process by reading from the read end of the pipe instead of from standard in. Again, you're going to need to use the dupe system call to accomplish this. So, with the use of our pipe, we have successfully bridged communications between the child and parent process. These were two processes that were previously disconnected from each other, and now they can communicate with each other. So, that's pipe. See you guys later.